Well hello, if you're watching this video I'm going to assume that you've just adopted one of our Caddy Thander Australian myths. Um, so in this video we're just going to go through what your kitten is used to, how our cattery is set up and what you'll need for your kitten so you can best prepare for when you bring your kitten home. <laughs> Right, so first and foremost, obviously the most important thing that your kitten needs to have when you bring them home is access to clean, fresh water. So here at Caddy Thander, we feed a primarily raw meat diet, which basically means that we go down to the butchers or the local pet store and we get some fresh pet mints, which is usually comprised of about 30% fat. The remainder are a mix of fresh muscle and organ meats, bone, fish, which can be fresh or canned with minimal carbohydrates. Occasionally we might add raw egg or grated cheese to the mix. Uh, raw chicken wings or chicken necks are also a tasty treat and really good for their dental health. Well, not only is a raw diet really healthy for them, but it also helps them keep the weight off, keeps their coats lovely and shiny and provides them with the best nutrition that we can give them as obligate carnivores. So finally, at Caddy Thander, we also supplement with Royal Cannon Kibble, either the mother and baby or kitten depending of course on the age of the cat. Okay, so this now brings us to the next topic, which is claw clipping. So unless you like torn couches and scratches and blood all over the place, the best thing to do is get yourself a dedicated pair of nail clippers or claw clippers. Okay, so clipping your kitten's claws is probably one of the main things that most new families to owning cats always ask me about, and I can understand that it can be a little bit daunting. So in this short segment here, I'm going to show you how I clip my kitten's claws. It basically just involves pushing gently on the top of the paw until the claw extends out. Now this will allow you to get the clippers in and cut off just the tip of each claw. Now doing this on a regular basis will certainly save yourself, your family, friends and your furniture from a little bit of wear and tear. At Caddy Thander we would revisit each kitten's claws approximately every couple of weeks. So our kittens, um, as you can see, are very very comfortable and used to the process already. Oh, look at that, kitty kisses! Okay, now progressing on to the full body segment. So in this one, I'm just showing you how I hold and position each kitten on my lap. This allows me to best maneuver myself and the clippers while I clip each kitten's claws. Depending on what's most comfortable for me, I'm happy to manipulate and move my kitten's body around so I can better access where I need to access. You might want to also reward your kitten if they're behaving themselves as this will make your job so much easier in the long run if there's a positive association. Okay now right about here there's a lesson to be learned. Um, if you have longer hair I didn't actually realise until I saw this video but my hair was actually tickling his ear and making him twitch. So. Proper planning ahead will make things a lot easier as well for both you and the cat when you're clipping their claws. Oh, he's being such a good boy. Lots of pets and cuddles when it's all done. Give him that good reward. When you finally get your kitten, they will have already been treated for parasites. At Caddy Thander, we use a spot-on treatment called Advocate for our kittens once they turn nine weeks of age. This once a month topical treatment is a water resistant formulation and will treat all fleas, heartworm and worms such as roundworms and hookworms. So in the cattery we'll also use a dedicated wormer which will do tapeworm before the kittens leave the cattery. As your caddy thander kitten will spend most of its time indoors, you're going to need a litter tray. A litter tray can be either hooded or not 
and it's required for your cat to do its business in. The best place to locate your litter tray is in an out of the way location away from foot traffic so that your cat won't be dissuaded from using it. What we want is to put the litter tray in an area that your cat feels most comfortable in. It's so much easier to prevent bad habits from forming in the first place rather than trying to fix them after they've already been formed. So keeping the tray clean is also essential as cats don't like to use dirty trays and will find somewhere else to relieve themselves if this is the case. Your catty thunder Miss Kitten will come to you with experience with two types of litter. The first is Breeders' Choice, which is a recycled paper litter which we would have used when your kitten was an infant. The second type of litter is called Kitter Litter, which is a wood pellet litter which gets a little bit less wet. We transition to this litter when the kittens are a little bit older as the pellets can be a little bit hard for young kittens to scratch around in. Walk into any pet store and you'll be simply swamped with all the options that are available. So there's simply no end to the amazing array of cat toys which are available in the market. You can also easily make cat toys yourself. Um, anything that moves on a piece of string or head down to your local cheap shop, I'm sure that you'll find some good cat toys there. Try and find things that will challenge your kitten and cat as well. That'll stop them from being bored and destructive. Please bear in mind, however, that when you do find the perfect toy, that it's safe for your cat to play with. You don't want anything with loose strings, anything sharp or anything that can be swallowed otherwise it may mean a real expensive trip to the vet and nobody likes something like that okay so this essentially leads us into the next item that you might need a scratching pole or a cat tower these will prevent your kitten from scratching on your couch or your furniture or using your favorite pillows as a reliever but providing them with a dedicated place to scratch and mark as their own it will make for a much happier cat and humans So finally it's time to bring your kitten home from the cattery. How exciting! But you'll need to bring with you a good cat carrier. Alternatively, you can ask Caddy Thander to provide one for you instead, but this will be something that you'll need to organise with us beforehand. If you don't bring along a suitable cat carrier, just be prepared that we may actually decline your request to take your kitten home until a suitable cat carrier can be sourced. After all, everyone's safety is our number one priority. A non-essential item that you might like is a safe, quick release cat collar with a bell. You'll need a brush to groom your kitten or cat. Mists don't generally shed a lot except during changes of season or during pregnancy, so a weekly brush is usually enough. The last thing on my list is a cat bed or a basket, however there's no guarantee that they'll actually use it. Cats and kittens will generally sleep wherever they want or where they feel comfortable. And in the case of our catty thunder miss, well that's usually on your lap. Right, well that brings us to the end of the video, so if you have any further questions please ask them in the comments below or always feel free to DM me for further assistance.